Hey, listen. Hey, when I go in here, when I go in here, make sure you get every correct angle. You got me not if you understand me. Okay, thank you. This isn't really a good idea, Josh. Shut up. I don't I pay you. He's going to hurt you, Josh. No, shut up, man. You talk too much. Listen, just make sure you get my good idea because last time I came in here, you ran me out of here. Free Josh Prey. Now, I know a lot of times we've looked at MMA fights and we've thought, I could take that punch. That hit can't be that serious. I know I can do it. What this series is about, can I take a kick? Can I take a punch? Would I survive in the ring with an MMA fighter? My name is Joshua Prey, and welcome to Free Josh Prey. Now I'm standing here with professional MMA, Taekwondo, kickboxing, weightlifter. What's your, what's your, what's your official title? My official title, I'm just a mixed martial artist. Mixed martial artist, okay. You were an ex-professional mixed martial artist. Right. Okay, now, to no disrespect to you, your craft, and your sport, right? I watch a lot of MMA fights, and I often feel like some of the fighters throw in the towel too fast. I feel like I could survive okay. some of the punches that they are being given. What about an individual with like a beer belly, like a gut? I think they got some padding in the front. I would come around with this less protection, you know what I mean? Not as much padding in the front. So you sold on this kidney shot dropping people? Liver, yeah. This liver shot. Yeah, what about if I'm like this? What happened to your boy Garcia? What about if I'm like this and you hit the, the bias? You ain't knocking nobody down with the bicep. Not a huge like nah, mine. That arm gonna be over with. Not a chance. Yes, sir. And this is where we begin our test. Can ex-professional mixed martial artist Kraft and Wallace take Josh Prey down? Like to be punished first. I feel like my arm is the strongest parts of my body and they bigger than your face. I mm -hmm. feel like I can take your punch at 60% here. I feel like I eat it. 60. 60. Okay. All right, you ready? Gotcha. All right. Ah! Josh, you okay? Okay, I'm, I'm cool. How you feeling? I, f I felt like he didn't have like them normal gloves. I felt I sixteens. I felt like I felt this knuckle in my arm. I felt like I felt like I got hit with a brick, dog. Um Wakanda's. Okay, wait, just give me just give me a second. Alright. The arm punch, I felt it. I wanna take the same shot Ryan Garcia took that tank dropped him with. Mm. I felt like I could have walked away from it. I got on the body armor. This is supposed to lighten it because I'm not a professional and I'm not yep. prepared for it physically. Yep, I but I feel like that. I could take it. All right? So this is you at about 30, 40%. 30, 40. Okay. And this was not smart. 100% technique. Oh, oh. Damn. Josh, you all right? Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. I feel... I feel like I gotta throw up. When a person says they have to throw up, they have to vomit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, my name is Josh Prey. Now I planned on doing three punches, but the liver shot probably knocked all the fight out of me. Right. Um, this episode was about seeing if I could take punches that MMA fighters give out mm. for mixed martial artists or boxers. Um, and I'm going to be the first normal person to admit that it's more than what it seems. Uh, Kraft and Wallace, my name is Josh Prey, and I'm asking, am I free? You're free, Josh Prey. Josh Prey has been free. Until next time. Damn, that hurt. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. How do y'all recover from getting hit like that? You basically you condition your body, first of all. So we take hits on purpose in training to, you know, build up your sensitivity and, you know, make yourself just tougher on the outside. Secondly, you learn how to circle away, recover. It's going to take about 30 seconds to recover from a good one. Yeah. Maybe tie the guy up. But, I mean, really, it's just you time it. You know, you got caught. All right, cover that target up, move away, try to get your web. Slow down. Don't panic. You know? There's nothing really you can do. Let, let, it, let the pain subside. All right, so today is about submission moves. Now, mm -hmm. I watch a lot of fighters get submitted and they tap out, and I feel like a lot of fighters quit because they don't want to tap out from submissions. Mm -hmm. yep. How would you, do you feel like a lot of fighters 
in their careers because they have to tap out so much? Nah, I don't think it's, it's not, I don't believe it's like that. I believe it's more guys retire from damage. Damage. And, and you know, getting knocked out over and over. And you know, it's just, it's too much on your, on your brain. Submissions is more like you got the opportunity to just be like, I can't get out of this. And it's either I go to sleep or I let them break my arm or I tap. No shame in tapping. Like nobody wants to get their arm broken. You know, okay. And you're going to lose. You're going to get half the money and you got your arm broke. Like be, be smart. Okay. So there's no shame in tapping out. No shame in tapping out. If I had to pick a way to lose, okay, I would much rather get submitted than kicked in the head. You know what I mean? And not I that. never thought about that way. Because yeah. you get kicked in the head. How you gonna wake up and tell your child to take out the trash? Hey, go take out the trash. You gonna forget you got a child. <laughs> that was funny. That was, I'm the comedian, man. That was funny. That was All right. that was facts. So, what three submission moves that are coming that we're gonna try today and we're gonna try to escape without tapping? Okay, they got three good ones, basic ones you would probably learn your first couple months of training. Yeah. Okay, now what's the first one we're gonna do? The first one is, since you brought up Khabib and Connor earlier, yeah. it's the rear naked choke. Okay, so we're gonna do rear naked choke. Mm -hmm. What's number two? The guillotine, another choke. We're gonna do the guillotine, and what's number three? A Kimura. The um, Kimura. Yeah. Okay, my name is Josh Prey, and I am about to try to get freed from the guillotine, the Kimura, and the rear naked choke. All right, ready? I'm ready. So. So I'm here. My first time all the way through. Yep. I'm gonna do the same grip as Khabib. I'm and now I, I want you to try to choke me. Okay. And see if I'm gonna tap. On three, two, go. <laughs> Josh, you, you straight? I'm good. I felt, I felt extremely lightheaded. I felt like the blood circulation had cut off to my head. Um, there was no way I would have been able to get out of that. I didn't want to tap. How fast did I tap? Was it like 12 seconds? Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Like a little fast. A little two about seconds. Three seconds. That was about eight. two seconds? This okay. is the guillotine, right? Guillotine. I'm going to try to break the guillotine. I got an idea what I'm going to do because I'm heavier and I'm strong. Are you ready? Ready. Josh. <laughs> oh, my neck. Josh. Josh, pray you good? Oh, my neck. Oh, my neck. Oh shit, my neck. Oh, oh, my neck. Ah, oh, bro, I think he broke my damn ear canal. Oh, 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 my, oh, I can't turn my neck. Oh, I can't turn my neck. Oh, I can't turn my neck. Right, this is the Kimura. I'm gonna fight to get out of Kimura. I have top position now. All right, so I'm here. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. You made me switch moves on me. <laughs> it wasn't a Kimura, my bad. <coughs> did my feet... Josh Pray, you good? Dog, did my feet do, do like this? You were tapping with your feet, that was good. All right, that last move wasn't, wasn't the Kimura. What happened? Uh, basically, you, your movement took away the Kimura possibility, so I switched to arm triangle. Why did I tap with my feet? Does that count in the real world? It, it counts, that's why I let go. My name is Josh Prey, and I can't escape a submission move. Crafting, am I free to go? Josh Prey, you are free to go. Thank you. After being choked, submitted, and embarrassed the prior week, I did what any father would do. I wanted to fight Crafting's son, so I challenged his son to a three minute round. This your boy Josh Prey, I'm in here. I was touched by Crafton Wallace last week. He choked me, he punched me, but now his son got to pay for what he did for me. Three minutes, free Josh Prey, let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, wearing pink, <laughs> celebrating breast cancer awareness month, all year long. Let's do it, bring in my opponent. What's up, Josh? Ready to get that work, man? Whatever. Hell yeah. Right. What's up guys, it's Marcellus Wallace, professional MMA fighter. I'm over here, one of the trainers here at Inferno Mixed Martial Arts. Been doing this about 20 years, going on for 10 for fighting. Usually when I come in here, I do it in the work. But when I get summoned by guys like this, it's because they're talking some trash. So I'm here to handle business. Thank you. 
Yeah. What did I do that was disrespectful? Came to touch you. In the fight world, you don't dab up, I take that respect. I bring it up all hundred right away. Is that what you want? What you talking about? I came here and tried to show you my respect. You didn't even look at it. You just wave me off. Man, whatever. Do what you do. Hey, Skep. Man, whatever. It's just three minutes. Give me a chance. Whatever. I'm ready. I was getting beat so bad, I don't even know who the little random Spanish boy was. Stop running! Make me. How many times ago? Ain't three minutes that? Okay, it's your boy Josh Prey. I stood in the paint. I ain't give up. I ain't quit. I probably tapped out, but it's all good. This is Marcellus Wallace. Marcellus, do you feel that I was a worthy opponent? Josh Prey, that was nothing. Okay. You got more work to do, sir. So, with that being said, am I free to go? No, sir, you are not. I have to give you more work to do. The heck? Somebody please free Josh Prey. <laughs> please. Not yet. Free Josh Prey!